Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and thank you for coming back visiting my platform over here where I talk about just about everything anything and whatever I want to talk about okay if I find some interest in it I am coming to you all as my guest audience yes my guest family audience so y'all can put y'all two cents in if you want to weigh in and if you just happen to stumble by my channel Thank you and try to watch my videos if you can from beginning to end and I'm sure you'll catch a gem okay some wisdom something that you can take with you from this video okay but I am going to be talking about Miss Sheree Whitfield okay which I don't understand why she's still holding on to Bob Whitfield's name meaning her ex-husband I don't know why women do that it puzzles me all the time because if I'm not married to you and our children are grown I don't want to have your last name no 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 but that's just me okay but we're gonna be talking about Sheree and her non-storyline self being back with the Real Housewives of Atlanta child it was funny when she was being seen with her ex-husband, Bob Whitfield. He made her look all kinds of silly. <laughs> and the man is a, a sports person. You know, you would think he would just talk only sports. Sports, 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 sports. But this man represented himself as a lawyer. Fooling with Sheree and Phaedra Pauls. Trying to get him to pay back, back child support. This man don't have no law degree, but he went and studied up on the law and beat an attorney at law, certified in the field, Phaedra Pauls. He beat the case. He beat a lawyer on the case when Sheree had enlisted Phaedra to be her lawyer to get back child support. I might have fell out my seat when the judge rendered in favor of Bob Whitfield. That was just a slap in the face. And of course, Sheree was trying to fuss with uh, Phaedra about, you know, what had just happened. You know, Bob was just a smart ass man. And then he just go look up stuff and be smart about it and win. So, you know, I can talk talk all day long about Bob. He wasn't a fool for Sheree. He didn't get her no money either. Now, he was trifling when he didn't take care of them kids. If he did not pay his child support like he should have paid. And that's something he should have done. And Sheree, if you had a prenup with Mr. Bob Whitfield, huh, you could have gotten money that way. But he didn't want to give you child support from what I hear from your mouth. And he didn't want to give you spousal support. So, that's just, oh, girl, you just don't have good luck with picking your minion child. But anyway, we got the storyline. Fictitious. That's why I said, why do we even think reality shows are reality shows? That you get what you get because that's what they're giving you. No, the stuff is just scripted. Okay. She, Minnie Sheree Whitfield, with her cute stuff. I don't know why she just didn't become um, a aerobics trainer. Because she has a body that is to kill for. And being her age too, she's very athletic looking. And it's not like in a monstrosity type way. But yeah, I'm like, and this was Sheree on the right and Al Alcon, if y'all remember uh, him doing a little part with Jeezy. I don't forgot what the song is. I want to sing it right now, but I don't even know the lyrics. Yeah, I know Cat Williams. Huh? <laughs> My mind is not here. Okay, well, it's not there either sometimes. But we can get a kiki and a laugh at that. But anyway, I know Prince. Like, Lord Hammers, I know I am something else when I get on this tube. But I gotta be me. I gotta be me. But really, the reason why we're here, Prince, is to talk about Sherry Whitfield and his fictitious storyline. I'm like, oh my God. You gonna pass on it, Riri? Okay. <laughs> Are you talking about my sanity, girl, or what it is? What it is, baby? What it is, girl? Yes, Lord, lift us up where we belong. We talking about them brass though, Reba. We ain't going to get on you right now because we need your support. We're telling this video. Yes, Prince, I know. Take it one day at a time. Whew. I'm over it. But anyway, going back to the subject at hand, Miss Sheree Whitfield. Okay, Bob Whitfield's ex-wife is still 
not together. Especially, you would think, yeah, I'm thinking the same thing out of all the men and all the time she has had, she should have a man by now. But evidently, that's not so. Because this man had said, Sheree tried to set him up, knowing he was um, on house arrest, and she called herself wanting to hang out with her boo and she did do something correct she did alert the man her boyfriend whoever he is her now because it seems like they not talking um <sighs> he called himself violating his parole and Sheree Whitfield was all up in there talking about she wanted to bring her camera crew and wanted him to come meet her for lunch well Sheree baby girl ah where are your senses at Probably where your designs at with she by Sheree and you know whatever you else trying to give us them joggers, but you know I ain't gonna never let that go until you put them in fruition, girl. You put them in fruition to me. Speak them to existence. But yeah, they got Sheree being stood up, and that's what the producers are gonna play the part is. But I'm like, okay, why did they let you back on the show? Uh, was your boyfriend supposed to be out? Out of jail. I ain't talking about no house arrest. Because that's still the man. Got you tied down like four flat tires. You got to tell him where you're going. Where you're going to be. All oh, this. Where you're at. Oh. What an ankle monitor. Girl. He was not fit. He wasn't fit. To be. Taping. And let alone. Not your boyfriend. I showed him one here. That tired ass line. With you talking on him. Talking to him over the phone. In the jailhouse. Trying to get to collect. car. That's a booty. But BET brought this story out, guys. Brought it on out to fruition. Sitting here while I'm trying to sit here and tell you about what I felt about it. Yes, honey. Did a little expose on Miss Sheree Whitfield. Trying to call herself taping with her prison boyfriend. Um, in, uh, inmate. Cell number 212. Whatever. Okay. Uh, check my one, two. Okay, but anyway, she called herself not knowing the legalities of his release. And he ain't fully released. Okay, ain't fully released. He on house arrest, meaning he still got the total line. Anytime he's supposed to be let out that house, I guess it's for emergencies. Such as he gets sick and a paramedic's got to come get him or he got to go to the doctor or whatever. But he got to talk with his P.O. about that. Parole officer. Okay. You can't make no moves. With like. You let the people know. Where you going. I need to be going. Or. Uh, the house is on fire. Something detrimental. That he can come out that house. And get so many feet. You know. From the house. I mean. I guess he can go. Just as far as to the mailbox. To get his mail. If he got any coming. And then he got to go back in that house. But Sheree had called herself. You know, she wanted to meet him for a lunch date. I'm like, all the storylines you could have been talking about. You could have been talking about your your mama. Cause they were saying, allegedly now, I'm not putting it on you, but that what the street was saying, that your mama was on some illicit drugs. She got strung out, and she left y'all for a minute. And then she escaped from her house or whatever, and, and went and found, the, the you know, the paraphernalia man and got hooked up until, you know, she had no more money, and then she had to come back home. And that's what the street's saying. Ah, it's all alleged on my boo. I just thought I'd that out for a storyline you could have came with that you know you couldn't come with the kids okay can't be coming with the kids because we don't want to hear nothing about your kids okay but we say it was all lies 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 and more lies maybe so i don't know we we don't know we just you know waiting to the story to develop or whatnot and look at when she's all kiki and laughing because you know it ain't about her and bobby so anytime somebody's focused on another celebrity that's cool with her because she says she don't give a effing okay about anything that's going on that's not related to her okay that's what she was saying but you know she could have had the storyline with her crazy ass ex-husband but Sheree brought it out that she was going to make like she is so in love with this man i went to prison the man i went uh went to prison for a white collar type crime meaning he didn't kill nobody uh he just probably stole a lot of people's money unbeknownst to the people he was trying to take it from see what i'm saying kind of like a scam it, like i said he wasn't in no real real hard population jail cell he was up there with the people that like to commit fraud embezzlement you know scamming on a big big scale and that's i'm like sure who do you mess with in this lifetime girl you got to upgrade your standards okay 
You got to upgrade your standards. Please upgrade your standards. But I'm just like, how did you sit down and bother you a contract with saying you got a boyfriend in jail? Yes, he's nice looking. Yes, he's fine. But he don't. That don't pay the bills. That don't pay the bills. And the situation he, he keep finding himself in, he gonna have your ass up in the jail house, okay? And then what? Well, you gonna get uh straight to give us some inside scoop? Cause they ain't gonna let you talk to the press. They ain't gonna let you talk to the press. But yeah, getting back into the story, cause I'm like Claire Huxtable over there, looking like, are you a damn fool? That's the expression she give me. You crazy. You 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 mean you might need to be seeing somebody, because I ain't believing this man. This man is shady as a two dollar bill, okay, or some property I got in Timbuktu that's a luxurious. And lucrative that I could sell you for five dollars per acre, okay. But anyway, getting into the story that was brought out, Craig T. Lee over there at the BET Home Field Home Team writing out a good story. They titled it Sheree Whitfield and Boyfriend Not Speaking Out the Real Housewives of Atlanta Scene. Now I'm like, Tyrone, how stupid can you be? You ain't born, you weren't born yesterday, and you damn sure ain't no. Well, maybe you just common sense. You just don't have enough of uh, So, you might have a flaw there. But business sense. You know you ain't have no good and god dog it well trying to film. That's the last thing would have been on my mind. Having any type of outside parts of any type of social media outlet that's going to pick me and view me in the harshest way they can because first thing they're gonna try to get up in my business to see why again in case people had forgotten why i went to jail then they're gonna be asking why did i do that scheme on these people it's gonna constantly make me look bad okay for the coin so that means she right on sold herself to the industry okay the entertainment industry so they're going to pimp her out any way they feel so because see she ain't letting the money chase her she chasing the money okay and crazy tired as bravo showed up at her doorstep said can you give me this can you give me this can you give me this okay and she said yeah 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 to every last one of them and now she bought her ticket back to real housewives of atlanta it seems like it's gonna be snatched okay because it would be very very unfair for them to just not let her have her peach since they had gave it out there and announced the whole crew and everything. So it would be tactful. I mean, tasteless and tactless of them to do that to her. But I pretty darn sure they probably said, we ain't going to put you in them many scenes and the money that we said we were going to give you if you could produce that man being on television talking about his offenses. The money we were going to give you, we ain't giving it to you. We're going to give you this much. You keep your mouth shut. And we'll just see how the public like you. And if they like you, we might bring you back on as a friend. But the peach, okay, we got rid of Cynthia because she wasn't giving nothing. We trying to tighten up. We don't get nobody on this boat no more that can't show and prove. Show and prove, okay? Give us constant wretchedness as much as possible. But show us some good stuff. Well, we're up there with some movers and shakers, and we're finding the insides and outsides of how things work. And when they don't work right, we need to have some ratchetness to try to figure out how we can get shit back on track. You know what I'm saying? So that would have been good. But you didn't give us this. Now they set up the storyline to get this the law off your boyfriend by saying they're going to say you got stood up. When in reality, we know the backstory, and we shouldn't even know the backstory. That's why I'm like, Papa, what the hell are y'all doing? Y'all telling us what y'all gonna do to straighten out this mess that y'all put this young man in? Which hell, he knew good and got all well what was going on. He know true entertainment. He know Bravo. Okay, he know who he talking about. So technically, he should get. At least a month back on his time. Because we we want the man to get out. If he done his job, done his service, done his deed to have been put in there. And he's resolved it by spending time behind bars. Okay, but we need to get him another month for thinking he could have pulled off this stunt. When he no good and gotten well. 
he wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. Okay? In the first place. When Sheree called herself wanting to meet. You see what I'm saying? He should say, hey, oh, to the no, no, no. No, baby. You got to wait till I get clear of this. Because I ain't answering nothing when it comes to my personal life. Anything steal me from letting anybody know or why I got into the offenses I got into. Now, show your son on TV, okay? Cairo, the model, show your two daughters if they doing anything worth seeing on TV. Hell, talk about your mama and a possibly, you know, alleged substance abuse that'll be a good storyline okay and then you could cry call me and cry and talk about all that but damn sure don't use me as the main storyline when you know i'm trying to get out of this hell hole that's what i'm thinking okay and like i said she could have been a bodybuilder instructor so because she got a body that's to die for okay but she didn't take too much of that either but anyway going into the story that uh craig lee had put out for us i told you this uh his title was sheree with phil and boyfriend not speaking after real housewives of atlanta scene find out why a meetup with tyrone gillums could have cost him his freedom it should have it should have cost his ass his freedom and then some because like i said people need to take accountability for things that they do and, and stop trying to say, well, I didn't know. I didn't know. When you good God dogging well, you know what uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta do. You know they go around with a film crew. You knew your behind couldn't come out that house. Or you could have said, okay, well, can y'all come over to the crib and film? I can be outside. I can't go past certain, you know, parts of the yard. But we can have a conversation. You come over here and talk about our life to get something. Or oh, we can talk about your ex, Bob. We feel is he still the hell all the kids are grown now. He don't need to be child child support. Paying child support, even if it's he didn't get a chance to complete it. It is what it is. The kids damn grown. Move on and drop his last name. Why do you still got this man last name? That what he should you know, it's several ways you could have played up something. Cause I don't understand why Sheree Whitfield got Sheree Whitfield got Bob Whitfield's uh, name either. I don't know. Is she waiting for him to die, thinking she's gonna collect some money. Did you Did you have a policy insurance policy out on your ex Sheree? Cause that's the only thing I would be seeing you would need it, or you just keeping his name in case he crow, and then you could be his wife with you can get his social security. Did he pay into social security, girl? You doing too much, Sheree. But anyway. The article reads, a scheduled meeting up in Philly almost cost Real Housewives of Atlanta star uh, Sheree Whitfield boyfriend his freedom. I don't know why they keep calling people stars around here. They up in the sky. They ain't on people. But anyway, my pun intended, not in this latest article. But according to TMZ, Whitfield, 51, was scheduled to meet Tyrone Gilliams in Philly. However, she told... Uh, Gilliam, she would have a Real Housewives of Atlanta crew with her upon her arrival to town. Okay, so she really wasn't going to see him. She was going to make some moves so she could secure the bag. You see what I'm saying? I ain't no way in the world I would have my loved one on camera. I don't care. We got to wait till you come out of jail. And then we can see what we can do with this reality store. Uh, other than that, nah, I ain't finna bring attention to you, baby. I ain't finna do that. Okay, but then I wouldn't, date, I wouldn't be dating nobody up in jail. Okay. If we didn't have something going on and we weren't married or we were married before, then that's a different story. But I was dating you still. You think I would still be dating you when you were to jail? Oh, that's another whole horse of a different color, child. That's another horse of a different color because I don't know. I don't know, girl, because prison changed you. It changes you. But anyway, like I said, he was in a not a hardcore prison cell environment. He was on a white collar. So that he probably had, he probably playing golf for us. We know up there you know going to spas and, and, and saunas and shit we, we, that's a whole nother ball game just like when bill cosby had to go somewhere you think he went into hardcore prison time? no no he went up there with them he was in a plush place where you know they still had to tell him when to come when to go when to go to sleep when to wake up you know all that kind of good stuff when you do crimes like that, you get your freedom taken away from it. So you can't just let the Lord wake you up and then you plan your day out. Uh-uh, it's already planned out for you like you somebody in school, a little kid going to preschool or whatever. And they tell you when to go, when to come. Yeah, that's all that kind of stuff. Okay, treat you back, put you back in a kid's state of mind. But anyway, it said, um, Whitfield. 
uh, wanted to shoot a scene with Gilliam at a restaurant. This would have violated the terms and conditions of his home confinement and left a judge to decide his fate. He passed on shooting the scene and the production team informed the attorneys that they would edit the show's narrative to make it appear as if he stood her up. Now see that's again. Two stupid people together. Two modern hungry people together. Two people that will sell their souls that's already done sold their soul to the industry. Okay. What the hell can you expect from them? They are like kids. They act like they have no accountability of their actions. Why would you even attempt to say you're going to film with her? Period. Even if she came and said, can I come to the house and we have a, a shot of filming? You should say, hell no. I, this is not in my best light. Can't do it. Won't do it. Or we would be, they would be filming us just like you see us walking in the snow. You can't see our faces. We, you're assuming that's us, but that's all you're going to get. Okay, that footage and that footage alone. Now, where he was, because he was outside the house. Now, where was that? Where was that taken at? Was it before he went to jail or something? I don't know. But that was supposed to be Sheree Whitfield and her boo. Tyrone. Come, Tyrone. Come. Tell her he better get back in that house. But he go back to prison. All right, I just had to throw that in there. Okay, but then we have uh, the article going back to it. It says fans were more convenient at the scene, causing ca causing it, cause causing it. Okay, of uh, the scene out the photo of Whitfield sitting alone outside the restaurant began to surface. Fans were able to spot two menus on the table and the camera crew to the left. Now I'm like, girl, girl, why you didn't tell Kim Zosette to come down now? Girl, why you didn't tell Nene to come down now and y'all have some lunch, okay, and, and chop it up. See what y'all can do to get this reality shows back in y'all pockets. Okay, what, you know, hey, you could have met with Ken. Hey, you could have met with Akon because you were supposed to be good friends with Akon's wife. You should have been mean with her, okay? Giving us a glimpse of, yeah, you still trying to be a mover and shaker in the entertainment world. And you still a boss. Something like that, Sheree. But now you come giving us this dry ass story that the camera crew had to go and, and get together. Because I'm pretty sure the Turners were rather this, ready to sue BET. Not BET, I'm sorry. Um, Bravo Entertainment. Because they were trying to set him up. Which he was setting his own self up for, for the okie doke. How, now, how does that look? When you got two people. They don't, it's like they share one brain and they still fucking up. Okay. I'm just saying. It kind of made me mad. I'm like, y'all supposed to be two intelligent people running around here in the, in the streets in Georgia. But yet, y'all can't understand what house arrest means. House arrest. Okay. Meaning, if he didn't wasn't good and you know he didn't do what he had to do they wouldn't have put him at home but i think he had to come home because of covid or or something it, it was overpopulated and covid was running rapid through the uh prison system and he was one of the lucky ones that were asked to come home and serve the rest of his time and then you're gonna try to f it up you're gonna try to f it up for a tv show that's it seems like it's on his last leg okay and you're going to let Sheree, of all people, convince you when we still trying to find her joggers slash fashions. Okay. This person. So I'm, I'm calling foul on both of their behinds. But going back to the article, it says previously the couple dated nearly a decade ago. But Gilliams cut their ties off once he heard of his pending indictment with the wire fraud case. TMZ reported. And died in 2013, the two reconnected in 2016 and began dating again. She visited him in prison. They stopped dating in 2018 when he lost his appeal. He was released from prison in February and the two once again began dating. Now, like, girl, did he leave some money for you in that Chateau Charade that you sitting up there trying to hold for him and you can't spend it until you get home? Girl, is he paying you for all... The things you had to send and put money on his books while he was serving that white collar crime called wire fraud. Girl. Girl. And I would call you lady, woman, whatever, but you're acting like a girl. You're acting like a little girl at that. And he acting like a little boy. Because this is a hot, steel mess. Okay? It's dookie, dookie, dookie smelling. I can't call it. I'm like, girl. 
they didn't need to go out this way. I mean, Greg had his time with the law and then the little infractions. But as his wife got on Housewives and things became a bit lucrative for them both by her being on the show, you didn't have to do some of the things that Greg and Nene did post, or I should say pre, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? This is what it is. But it don't seem like you're learning anything, Sheree. You're not learning anything. This is the third time you on this show. And we need you to show and prove. But what you're giving us is booty. Okay, booty. I mean, either you with the man or you're not with the man. Evidently, the man can't take for this season because he likes the smell of freedom. Okay, he likes the taste of freedom. And he don't want to go back. But hopefully he learned his lesson. And that's what I'm hoping. Forget this show. Forget all the notoriety of negativity it's going to bring you. Forget all that. Are you finished the scams? Are you finished with the scams? That's what I want to know. So you can stay your butt out of the prison. Cell block. Being categorized as numeric numbers. Instead of them saying your name, they're giving you 2120384. Okay? Present yourself. All right? Present yourself. But that was just, oh, that was a hot mess. And I'm just like, oh, so now they're going to, whatever they shot, whatever they film for a charade upcoming scene to meet this man at a restaurant and I guess have small bear to have. I, I don't know. Because I'm like, charade sitting up there in that fur. Thinking like she in New York somewhere where it's cold, cold. And George don't get that cold to bring out no kind of fur. Okay? Unless it's a short coat fur. And then you'll be ready to take it off once you get what you got. If you ain't already tried to take it off before you got out the car. Or got into the building you were going into to be entertained or whatever you taking care of your business. But child, man, you could have came with Acorn and his wife. It was, seemed like she was, they were trying to test her um, for being on the show. That would have been a lot, a lot more believable. Because it don't seem like you have to be married. To be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta or any Real Housewives franchise show. You don't have to be married. That's not. That's just a legality that we look over or they look over. If you can bring something else to the table that's going to like blow people's minds away. Then that's secondary. You could be. You, you can. You know. Should look at Kenya. Kenya been on the show. She ain't been married not one time. Okay. One time. And the time that she give us with Ma, it was useless. We we shouldn't even count it that time. Because y'all know how I feel about it. I ain't got to tell y'all. Y'all know how I feel about that situation. But how he showed out. Showed up constantly being filmed. And showed out on Kenya. It was best that she was single. Needed to be single. Forget that. She was just somebody's baby mama. Okay. He was somebody's baby daddy that she got to have a baby with. Because that was a hot mess. Calling them a marriage. I don't think so. They want a marriage. Mm -mm. Nope. Only a name only. Other than having Brooklyn of course. But that, that's another whole story. But even like I said. If it was a true 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 wedding. Marriage. How could she stay with somebody. That treated her like gum under his shoe. How could you stay with somebody. You weren't happy. Like once you said I do. That was it. He said I'm done. But. That's all I have for this particular video, y'all. I don't really understand why we have Sheree on the show. The first, well, the first time I could see. The second and third I, I don't see it. Why? Why? Okay, because I can't imagine what she going to come up as a storyline since she couldn't get this particular one with her fiancé to work. Okay, I, I want to know what, what else she got for us. And like I said, her being the snitch and the bone collector, I know it's not working for me. It's not going to keep me enticed to want to continue to review the show, you see. Because the only reason why I came back to review the show is just to see who Kenya going to put her hooks into. Okay. Because Drew Sidora need to have left with Latoya forever. Okay. She left with her. Open up the ca cast for another two people to replace her behind. Because they say they ain't making that much. These new people coming in and they just taper. They can pay a thousand dollars, y'all. For filming in its entirety. I like that. Man, please. That wouldn't waste my time. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Like it, love it. Gotta have more. 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that notification button but uh, bit hit that notification bell button that was a tongue twister y'all and you'll know when i drop down videos for you to come over here and watch and partake in other than that keep sharing my videos keep liking my videos and i will see you next time peace